Welcome back to the Anime Alchemist Podcast. My name is Emery. My name is Gary. My name is Martin. It is episode 95. Uh, appreciate you guys for listening. This motherfucker, you guys. <laughs> Whether it's on Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, or Spotify. There's also all the other podcast like, sites. You guys can listen to it. Just put that out there. You guys can watch it on YouTube on Thursdays, Anime Alchemist Podcast. The video does come out a day early on Spotify. Appreciate you guys for listening and watching, like always. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn those notifications on. And let's talk about some anime. Spoiler warning. Like always. Mm-hmm. Um, also, this is probably... I just realized this, and we probably should have mentioned it way before this, but if you're going to be at Anime Matsuri this year, we're going again, so look out for us. That's all I'll say. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> just make that into a TikTok for later. Yeah, it's just <laughs> like we never... I don't think we've mentioned it once in the last few episodes, and it's coming up. By the time this comes out, Um. yeah. I think it'll be that week, the week after Matsuri, uh, or the week yeah. before, one or the other. One or the other. Um, so we had like a, a discussion a while back, and we were talking about like who might be like the strongest MC from like the beginning of their journey. Mm-hmm. Well, we 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 omitted a few, like Goku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is not fair. <laughs> it's not, and so um, we have a handful. And just a just uh, I guess name a few. Jesus Christ, I forgot this last one. Uh, Itadori, uh, Mash, Luffy, Gabimaru, Mori Jin, Denji, Asta, Shinra, and Morgiana mm-hmm. from Magi. Yeah. It, like so, like let's kind of go through each one and kind of like talk about why we think that they're you know worthy of this category. In my opinion, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Strong at the start, and then I guess we can kind of compare them along the way see who we think is the strongest yeah coming so, out starting with itadori man had quite the debut in his first couple episodes yeah. well, he was breaking like records yeah just, just in his pe class but he's part of the going home club part of the going home club yeah mm-hmm. yeah he do, he's not part of any clubs he, he's, oh, yeah, oh, the actual he's, club he's, yeah, yeah he's part of the going home club uh-huh and then you know like he joined the paranormal investigation or whatever mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah and they're like oh you know are you sure part of the going home club are you sure i really thought those right. two characters were gonna last more than the first episode nah, bro, they <laughs> gone gone Just never again yeah, like, his like grandpa. Every, everybody he- <laughs> bro, <laughs> damn. what a way to start a series <laughs> what a way to kill, <laughs> kill off his grandpa <laughs> but, but homie was strong homie was very strong like he was duking it out and like keeping up with jujutsu sorcerers with mm-hmm. like with without any kind of use of cursed energy yeah i didn't even yeah. know what what he was fighting to him it was just a monster that he could see mm-hmm. and everyone else is like hey that's a, that's a cursed spirit my guy and you're just duking it out yeah all fisticuffs like uh, he's just raw physical power mm-hmm. yeah you know so he he's very strong but no access to cursed energy it wasn't mm-hmm. until he he ate that sakuna's finger yeah sakuna's mm-hmm. finger so so we'll say like just based off of everything before that like he was right? pretty He's dumb physically fuck. strong physically yeah he was definitely strong. already like a, a higher level than a most main characters His, would be i mean um fushigoro even said like at some point like i think it was like right before the the school exchange event like if like none of us used cursed energy itadori would win mm-hmm. like it's just that he's i don't know i think toad not toji um uh, toto would give him a run for his money man's is built well, he's i got mean a heavenly pack but but oh no it was like oh, is that why he's so strong is heaven is yuji? that one? yeah no not yuji um toto no no he's able to use or is he just like yeah, physical he's, raw strength he's physical oh, oh, raw oh strength. i'm sorry yeah he is sorry the clap like, is will, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> um yeah no he's just strong okay yeah but like no 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 if like I think uh, Fujigoro is like referring to like the people at like their specific school. Mm, oh, from like, so like Panda yeah, Maki, yeah, yeah, yeah. like them, like if they all tried to fight him, like just straight fisticuffs, he'd bury them. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think the only one that could like hold out longer than anyone else, maybe Panda. Maybe Maki. And yeah, Maki's fucking yeah. Yeah, like I don't know. That cursed energy is really her cursed energy is very strong. But it, without well, without cursed energy, we're saying, right? Oh, oh Maki. Maki doesn't oh, have yeah, any no, cursed energy. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. Uh, it, can she I use her thinking, weapons? I was thinking Nobunaga. I mean, like, non, like, lethal ones, I guess, probably. That, that's her name? Nobunaga? 
no. Nobara. Oh, Nobara. Nobara. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been. Yeah. Oh, Nobara we would get split in half. She would get fucking absolute bodied by. Oh, it. you did not have to put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! It's a little God. excessive. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> okay. So yeah, Ichidori, okay, well, dumb shit, uh, strong. He's he's very strong. But how do you compare him to Mash at the start of the series? Because uh, like Mash himself is very physically capable mm -hmm. at the start. Like he mm -hmm. he can fly by kicking off the ground. Yes. You know what I mean? Like he he really hasn't encountered many obstacles that he couldn't overcome. Yeah. From episode one, he was already, like, ripping doors out just by trying to open them. Exactly. I don't see Yuji doing that. So... <laughs> definitely putting MASH above above Yuji. Are we ranking all of these, by the way, or just, like, talking about it? Like, who I think is the like strongest? We, or just talking we about... go, we'll strongest. see, like, who's overlapping okay. who. Gotcha. No, that's, who's the strongest MC at the start of the show? You know, oh, at the okay. start, right? So when mm -hmm. Mash, MASH was introduced, he was dumb fuck strong. Okay. Yeah. Like he's he he just maintains. Yeah. Yeah. And like he just works out. He just maintains it. There's no magic there at all. No. Like no. He, he doesn't no. have magic ability, so it really is just raw strength at this mm -hmm. point. Okay. And like, yeah, well, he definitely claps Yuji. The, so. the first season's like more of display of like what he already can do. Can do and like, <laughs> bro. Did Did you read he, the manga? Me. Like uh like the. Like maybe the first volume before it came out, but then. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, like, like from what I ha like, we have seen from the first, it, it is ridiculous. Like he's what he can do. Dumb shit fast. He's obviously ridiculously strong. Mm -hmm. And it's it's pretty fucking impressive. It's funny because like he comes off as, and I haven't watched it obviously. If you haven't, uh, if you don't know, but the clips I've seen or whatever make it seem like his strength is so absurdly strong that everyone perceives it as like magic, right? Yes. Yeah. Like no, he makes everybody. it seem like my magic is strength or whatever, but no, it's just, it's he doesn't have any. It's, it's really how strong he actually is. Muscle, muscle magic. Muscle magic. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so you know, like there was a point where he went to do a dash and he like, he's yeah, like, he's like he's quadricep like, magic. Oh, yeah. And then he takes off. You're like, like, what? Like ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Man broke the sound barrier like twice with just one launch off. It's, it's, he's super strong. So like, yeah, he would bury Itadori. <laughs> bury. <him. laughs> yeah, he would. Okay. Yeah, fair. And Luffy at the start of the series was very strong. He was. Like he he, like I said, long time ago. Luffy at the start of the series is stronger than current Deku. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I still, I still believe that. Yeah. <laughs> he, he just uh, like he went that whole way in the first half. Of the, of, of the grand of, line of the grand line like before the time skip at the same strength like yeah. he wasn't building power he just kept getting challenged and had to strain himself more and more mm -hmm. would you consider like the second gear and third gear like techniques then that he just developed along the way yeah yeah a hundred percent because like they were they were buffs for sure that that helped him in combat but mm -hmm. they weren't necessarily like uh, like I, I'd say on a physical strength scale right like if he's it's the same. Okay. Maybe maybe he gained a little bit of strength along the way, but okay. it's the techniques and fighting ability. So it's like kind of when Goku uses a Kaioken, it temporarily increases his strength, but when he's not using it, he'll go back to that base strength, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Similar. Yeah. Luffy's base strength was the same. Pretty, basically. pretty much the same the mm -hmm. entire first yeah. half of that Grand Line. Or yeah, the definitely. entire Grand Line. So that means that his base strength, he was able to take on Buggy, Don Krieg, uh, Arlong, Fucking crocodile. crocodile, Rob Lucci. Rob Lucci, that's like a major one. Mm -hmm. And then Moria, um, Moria, mm -hmm. with the help of the straw hats. <laughs> yeah, but like he, he, contend. He did get he get did get buffed by like all the shadows, the shadows and yeah. stuff. But like still, like mm -hmm. he he took down that heavy NL. form. And you know, and I, yeah. I mean that was kind of. Axe. Pokemon Axe. bad had bad matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon types came into play. True. But, like, for base strength Luffy at the start of the series, like, yeah, he definitely did a lot. Mm -hmm. So then if we're comparing him to Mosh, are we, like, including his Devil Fruit ability then of being rubber? Because then I feel like how does that, how is that fair then pitting well, Mash with his strength against a rubber boy, you know? Well, pit the physical strength as, like, imagine the peak of the demonstrations that we've seen of Luffy's physical strength. Mm-hmm. In the first half before the time skip, mm -hmm. right? 
without without kind of like any of the adrenaline injections and okay. all that. Yeah, yeah. Right. So imagine that level of strength. Basic abilities. And basic abilities. Yeah, basic ability. Because like really <laughs> along the way, he is where he developed his techniques. Right. Like yeah. His strength was pretty much the same. Because I was thinking about it as like maybe we simplify it down to who would win in an arm wrestling match <laughs> in terms of pure God strength. Damn. <laughs> If you're just talking that pure strength, but if you're adding the abilities, then that kind of like negates it. Yeah, I mean, he has his pistol. Uh, Do you think that pistol does more damage than what Mosh can put out? And this is, yo, I, I don't I mean, know enough I mean, about Mosh, so. I'm asking to throw out his rubber. <laughs> and see, that's the thing. That's the thing. If you go with that, then the rest of the people in this list don't, don't mean shit. Don't mean shit. Saying he can't, like, no, that's not true. Crush him. I know it's rubber, but you, uh, you can you can crush and Condense stretch rubber it enough to like tear it and fuck it up, you know. Mm -hmm. if, if he was, hmm, I guess if he was fast enough, I, if Mash enough was to, like, quick get, enough to grab like Luffy's arms, and take him, and use then, him as a jump, rope. use him as a jump rope. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Or like run run fucking circles around him and just tie his arms up. From the very little I've seen of Mash, I think that like he probably start, wouldn't be able to do that to Luffy. Start, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's so OP oh. at the very start of the series. Like, even with Luffy's strength feats, and I, I don't think he'd have the technique. Yeah, one of the strongest things I saw Luffy do, just physically speaking, was whenever he was stuck between those two buildings. And remember mm -hmm. when he just pushed mm -hmm. both of them like to the side. Yeah. But I could see Mash doing something very similar, if not easier. You know. The man got stuck in a maze. Uh -huh. And he was like, fuck this. Dof, dof, dof. He just broke down the walls of the maze. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> it was funny, too, because there's, there's like, it shows a top view, and there's a point where he punches through, and, like, yeah, they could have went around. <laughs> just <laughs> punch through. Fucking idiot. <laughs> it was, like, literally right there. A shortcut. Yeah, no, yeah, he's just going straight. Straight line. Boom. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then from all that, then I'm still going to lean towards MASH, then. Yeah, okay. Too same. The okay. same. Agreed. Sorry, Luffy. All right, Gabi Maru. Oh God, man, Mahalo. he's 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 That's scary cool. as fuck at the start of the series. Yeah. But where we were at right before he reset, mm. I feel like he was like at a pinnacle. That you know yeah, I mean? that like his own strength. When he learned the abilities or whatever, yes, when he I'm not understood gonna lie. that how. would probably dog walk mash. That would dog walk mash, but I, so I don't before know. learning that, you don't think so? Okay, then it would be a, that would be an interesting matchup. Yeah. Oh dang. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's tough because he like he's like an, an actual ninja. Like him at the mm -hmm. start of the series, mm -hmm. he he was still the hollow, but he like hadn't fully given up on living. Right? Yeah, and he slowly starts like, to be like was starting to feel. Yeah, right. But he he didn't have like those established. So he he could have he could have still shut that switch off because mm -hmm. he did it many times at the start. Yeah, if it's a one v one against you know this random person, then I think he's gonna do that. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm going to be has, honest. Mash has, like, really, really high strength feats. So, like, I feel like he's his strength feats are on the level of, like, the that that giant dude mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that killed the redhead guy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? And, like, it took it took Sagadi's breathing techniques and multiple people to take that guy down. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, it just... That's in true. Terms of, in terms of durability, right? Yeah. He, he had ridiculous strength, though. Um, in terms of like you know just that raw strength, then yeah, I, I probably think that Mash could output more strength in general. If you're putting them in a fight though right away, I still feel like Abi Maru could kill him faster. Yeah, like yeah. I, I think like he would just kind of be clear the, and do that. The difference, the true difference in it would be Mash is just too green. Yeah, like yeah, Gabi Maru. Gabi Maru, like Gabi Maru, has like senses that he's honed yeah. for you know years now. Yeah. The moment he realizes, like, oh, this dude's, like, a legit threat. Nah, fuck this. Like, it's, you know, he switches up to his ninjutsu style. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm blown, Yeah, he's know. fast and perceptive, and I don't think he would allow MASH to get a no. good hit on him. Plus, at the beginning, episode one, he can do the fire thingy. Yeah, That's exactly. The ablaze thing. thing. Like, yeah. That's gonna give you that advantage, like, exactly. from episode one. It wasn't something he learned later on, like, second gear or anything All like that. All his, like, fire so, techniques he, he, are he technically... Had, like, many techniques. Yeah. He had, like, mm -hmm. the rock shooting techniques and modified that into, like, the flame rock technique. He, he was using his sash as an actual, like, 
blade. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So like he he had a, he has a lot of access. To yeah, different skills. like his overall ninja. He's a lethal weapon. Yeah, he is 100%. a lethal weapon, and he's durable too. We've seen him yes. like tank shit oh. that wouldn't like no one else could tank. Bro, people was trying to chop his neck, and he was just sitting there. Yeah, mm-hmm. they couldn't yeah, even yeah, chop no, his they neck. They lit that man on fire. Gabi Maru wins that. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, Gabi yeah, okay, Maru for sure. All right, Mori Jin. Mori Jin, God of High School. Dog, he he was strong as fuck. At he the was start really of the fucking series. strong. He picks up techniques really fast. He does. Um, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm okay. I'm gonna honestly, I'm gonna go back to like kind of the same kind of like scenario. The issue is that like he's a fucking high schooler. This is a ninja. trained assassin. Yeah, this is a trained. Hey, hey. He's still young. He's still sixteen. Tr- true. Um, but he's also been like molded at a younger age as well. He's more experienced. I mean, Maury grew up as a martial artist with his grandfather. Uh, That's for different. a little bit. Then he just like left him. Yeah, but he never stopped training. Tr- true. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's just like Goku. But but Gabi Maru had training. And you could argue better training. <laughs> yeah. And missions. I guess. Like, I mean, Gabi Maru has shown the ability to evolve during battle as well. And again, mm-hmm. he's lethal. Like he, The he lethality is what kind of keeps giving him that edge. Yeah. Like, Mori would fuck around and find out and get cut. E- yeah. Yeah, I don't think, like, he can afford to make any mistakes. And it won't take more than a couple mistakes for that fight to be, like, decided. And Gabi Maru to just mm-hmm. fi- get that finishing blow. Now, I do think if they were to exchange blows, I think they could both kind of tank each other's stuff. Yeah. Like just straight, like, punches or fights and kicks yeah, and things like that. That'd be kind of a first. cool, like, fight. And I could see it lasting for a little bit. But as soon as they start yeah. turning up the notch, I think Gabi Maru is going to start wanting to end it, and mm-hmm. he'll end it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah fair. But okay. in terms of straight martial arts and stuff, I could see that being a really interesting fight. And both kind of, like, put, outputting the same amount of power, maybe. Okay, so then Gabi Maru versus Denji right after he gets his his chainsaw ability. Yo. So that this is the hard part though because like we've seen it Denji mutilated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now what the fuck is like Gabi Maru gonna do? Exactly, he can just regenerate. Yeah, unless he just keeps killing him over and over well, and he, over. He could. He could. That's the thing is I could see him sitting there whipping his whipping his sash at him, just cutting. Mm-hmm. Cutting his body and like cutting his hands yeah. and pieces off. Yeah. Because, like, let's be honest, Denji has the durability factor and that's and crazy. <laughs> and that's yeah, it. Like, that's the, it. he doesn't have any martial arts training. He, he's not like strong or powerful in the sense that like Yuji was before learning mm-hmm. curse technique. You know, just like fighting. Like, I feel like if Physical he punched, it would just be like strength. a hard punch. Yeah. <laughs> not a like shattering, like, you know, bone breaking punch the way Gabi Maru can put out. Yeah. So. I'm still gonna go with Gabi Maru. I'm still gonna go with Gabi Maru too. He'll just keep killing him over and over and over but, until. But what if he underestimates him? I could see him underestimating him and then, it, you know, like taking a heavy blow and like even if he doesn't make that mistake again, like this man's a chainsaw. Yeah. A man works with like swords and kunais though. I know a chainsaw is a little, you know, more dangerous, I guess, but. I don't think he would underestimate him. This is a fucking chainsaw human coming at you like that. I don't underestimate that. I, mean, I, I think he's smart he enough to think like, oh, this it's 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 stupid. Mm-hmm. Like, this thing is stupid. Oh, okay. It's it's not underestimating like it, it, that. Yeah. He can't think or something. Yeah, his intelligence, his ability to like recognize patterns, because like you know he's shown himself able to be capable of fighting. Yeah. Very very yeah. quickly at the start. Yeah. I feel like he might have a shot. It's a very slim shot, in my opinion, because he lost to, like, the katana dude, remember? The sword devil. Yeah. Or the sword guy. Sword man? How do you devil. see him doing against Gabi Maru? You see Gabi Maru dead? No. Really? Yeah. I don't know, man. I that guy see, was kind of different. Was, that guy was, was kind of like... different. That guy may be killing. <laughs> I, I see I the fire thing playing a pretty big role. I don't know why I keep coming back to that. He's a sword. Yeah fire don't burn don't burn sword no but it burns his body True. body is sword like human parts of his body 
not all of Denji is a chainsaw. Yes, if not, true. he'd just be a walking yes, chainsaw. Yeah, but he has chainsaw parts and like, you know, sticking out of him essentially. Mm -hmm. You think his PP turns into one too? I think if he wanted to. <laughs> if you believe hard oh, enough. God. Oh my god. That's not a thought I needed in my head. Thank you. Okay. Well I guess I guess Gabimaru. Still still in the top. Mm-hmm. Alright. Asta. Asta get his shit wrecked. Wow. Just right away, no no first, defense. First episode, bro, he barely gets his sword at the end. Yeah, true. <laughs> Like, if you're just taking his raw strength from, like, when he was, like, just physically training, like, every day since childbirth. Yeah, he yeah had that's no... a dumb fuck fucking kid. He had no real technique, though. Nope. No, that was just yeah. lots of push-ups, lots of sit-ups, and plenty of juice. Yep. <laughs> plenty <laughs> of juice. Okay. Now, yeah. you, you put him, like, in, like, let's say, the, uh, the exam, like, his entrance exam. Mm-hmm. That's a menace, but like he had more training with the sword. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he at least like trained mm -hmm. every day swinging it. Yeah, cause like I'm thinking, what effect would him and that sword have against Gabimaru? Like maybe if the sword or whatever you know the devil ability behind that recognizes any of Gabimaru's like fire techniques as magic, then maybe I could see it countering it. But that's a very like yeah. what if it did, mm -hmm. you know? So. It would. It would. Be. Did his anti magic counter key? Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. But it, it wouldn't though because he can use key like, at yeah. least later on in the show. You know what I mean? We see that it's a very different distinction: key versus magic. Yeah. So I guess so not. Wouldn't it? Like it would. It would a hundred percent come down to like, Ost actually landing a blow on Gabimaru, and I don't really see that happening. Well, he even said like his body, is naturally trained. Who, Asta's? No, uh, Gabimaru. Gabimaru. His body is naturally trained. In the moment that he's about to lose consciousness and be taken down by an enemy, deliver the most damage that you can take and try to make yeah. it lethal. Yeah, or yeah. That you can give and try to make it lethal. So even if Asta was about to, like, deal a heavy blow on him that could take him out, he would, like, as as he was taking that blow, tear his throat out or something. Oh yeah. Yeah. Also getting mutilated. See, I told you guys like <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Man, we put Gabi Maru in here. We should we, he really, we threw really like should everything yeah. off, yeah. But like realistically he was insanely strong from uh -huh. episode one, so it, he honestly fits the bill the most. A lot of these characters we've even given them the hypothetical of like, well what if like you know, they use this which they learn later on, like mm -hmm. gear second or whatever. What, what? <laughs> episode one Gabi Maru kinda slaps. I just gotta ask, like Asta or uh Mash who win? Asta or Mash? Oh, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're both I love this question. Stupid strong. <laughs> stupid strong. Uh, I'm going to let y'all take care of that. I don't know. I feel like Mash still wins, dog. He's got magic that, that makes it look like he's got magic where Asta's magic is never giving up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. It's a good point. <laughs> it is a good point. Asta just never thought about it, okay? He never like just thought, about, like, maybe if I just kicked really hard. Do you think how do you how would that fight play out? Do you think? Imagine imagine my Mash like pulls up out the forest, and he's like, "Hey, I I don't have magic either." And he's like, "Fight me, fight me." Hmm. And this is specifically episode one Mash versus episode one Asta. Yeah, or just in general. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, episode damn. one Mash versus episode one Asta. Mash. You think Mash wins? Yeah, I do. From episode one, absolutely. Oh fuck. I totally broke your pen. I'm so sorry. Wow, bro. I don't go to your house and break shit. <laughs> you you go to yeah, my house, honestly, though, and think about resetting my fucking Zelda game. You're still fucking hurt over something yeah, I always actually didn't always. do. It was just a joke. My God. I'll never get over it. Speaking of breaking shit, I'm going to go out with Mash. Yeah, Mash episode one. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty strong. But, okay, so Gabimaro versus Shinra. See, that's the thing. Is like Shinra Shinra's uh, generation three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he can create fire, but he can't like manipulate it. Manipulate it super well. Mm -hmm. Right? He can he can kind of like control it to an extent, but not really. But yeah. So he's do just think, do you think do you fire. think he could blitz Gabi Maru quick enough to like well, land a heavy blow? I think I like later on, yeah, but yeah, not in episode one. Not episode one. 
maybe episode one of season two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we got that training from um, Benny Maru. Yeah, yeah. Like we saw Benny him broke the sound barrier, break the fucking sound barrier. At that point, then Shinra is catching up and speed blitzing fucking Gabi Maru. But episode one, he couldn't do that yet. He, he was gets fa- he was fast. He was fast, but not. No, not, not fast enough. No, not breaking fucking Mach 1. No, yeah. Now, I will say, I do think Maki could stand a fair chance because she could actually manipulate fire. So, I, I don't know if she would win, but I see she her... She does have raw strength, too. She, does she have has raw that strength. raw strength more so than Shinra, and any time that Gabimaru would try to use his ablaze technique or whatever, she's manipulating it and not letting it affect her, you know, yeah. being a second generation. So that could be a more interesting fight. But she's not the main character. So. Yeah. No, I think I still think Gabimaru wins. Gabimaru. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I I feel like a fight between Luffy at the start and Shinra at the start would be a really good fight, though. Yeah. Oh, that could be a fun fight. Mhm. It would. It would be. It would be really fun. Yeah. I feel like Shinra would kind of fuck Luffy up, but Luffy would also kind of fuck up. <laughs> Uh, Shinra. Shinra. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could see it. And they'd both be like smiling for completely different reasons. Luffy oh, smiling yeah. because he's enjoying himself and having a cool fight. Shinra because he's terrified. Like, is he made of rubber? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> and he's nervous. And he's uh-huh. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. That's yeah. funny. That would be a good fight. I, I feel like that kind of end in a draw. Luffy yeah. versus Shinra. Kind of. Start of the series. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I feel like. I mean, yeah, I, I didn't see... Never mind. Luffy would probably put him down, now that I think about it. Sheer strength-wise. Yeah. Shinra can't punch. Yeah, well, he can punch, but his, can, his punches are not yeah. competing with... Uh, he can kick, but again, Luffy, Luffy's, like, his blows are heavy. Yeah. No, you know what would be interesting? Like, we'll never get a fight like this, but, like, Sanji versus fucking Shinra, they both essentially that do would be good. Mm. That would be good. That is, like, the most equal fight you could come up with between two completely different anime. That would be impressive. That would be. See that. that would be cool. Yeah. It would be like Shinra, and then, like, at the start of the series, maybe a little bit after some training, and then Sanji after getting Diablo Jumble. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That'd be a good yeah. fight. Because you have, like, that sound-breaking fucking speed versus observation hockey. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's a good matchup. I, I got two things, okay? First of all, where John is totally a fucking main character in the first... Season of Magi. She's so, introduced so in the I first don't want to hear anything mm-hmm. about it. Yeah. Exactly. And she dog walks Gabi Mara. Okay. See, I was gonna say, I feel like she could do really well. Because she she was she was in a position of like at the start of the series, like she was a slave mm-hmm. to somebody who abused her her entire life. And like he made people fight for entertainment. Mm-hmm. Right? And there's a scene in that first episode, maybe the, well, it's not the first episode, but it's very early on in the series and yeah. in her introduction. She fights off a whole pack of fucking of like saber toothed tigers. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. And alone. Like, alone. And like in her wheelhouse, she had like not just her legs, like she had a like terrifying she screech. Like, like, yeah. No, she, she was powerful overall that wasn't just her like she's a great kicker like <laughs> that and she knows how to uh avoid lethal blows like obviously yeah. she's alive been alive this long mm-hmm. right like in, in under those conditions i feel like they've they both would be able to compete with each other right mm-hmm. she'd be able to avoid those those lethal blows 100 percent. yeah 100%. i think so and her blows on gabi mario are going to do some major damage they're going to he would underestimate her. She's got she's got crazy strength. Mm-hmm. The mm. moment, like I guarantee, the moment one of those legs comes remotely close to the side of his head, it's gonna it's gonna jar him ridiculously. The way, yeah, no way, yeah, for sure. No, nah, that's a good one. That's not an easy fight for either of them, though. No, and no, that's the no, thing. no, no. It's like she 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 would be like, "Fuck it, I'll take the damage." Mm-hmm. I'll take the damage and I'll still damage him. Yeah, she's durable as fuck and yeah. she can Dude, output just badass. as much. She's a badass. And she, I mean, that's why I, she's I think, one of the main I think characters. Morjana would win, I to be honest. That. That's a difficult fight between them. Yeah, it's difficult. But Morjana, I think, has the determination to come out on top. I yeah. Know, something about it. Like, I will say, though, if Gabi Maru takes forceful. it extremely serious from the get go, he could kill her quicker than she can, like, realize how how much she needs to be outputting. You know what I mean? 
It just depends on the scenario. It could go either way, but Morgiana can definitely take that win. Yeah, I can see it. 100. I could see her winning. Yeah. All right, Morgiana's the strongest main character in anime. Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. At the start of the series. At the start. At episode one. At the start one. of the series. Yeah. Um, She's strong. She's so, strong. Um, Yuji didn't get too far, but you know. But we should talk about... Well, he's not even in the season, so are we really talking about Itadori? Fair enough. Uh, but the recent shit in Jujutsu Kaisen... Um, my God. First of all, the animation recently has been peak. And I think we've said this before. We'll just reiterate it. Mwah, chef's kiss. Looks super good. They're showing off for no reason. Yeah, seriously. Dude, mm -hmm. uh, in the most recent episode, like that fourth episode, mm -hmm. where they pick it up, from or like where we left off and it's like yeah. kind of a little bit of recap but we jump straight back into it and they show Amonai's mm -hmm. body falling to the floor they it's a follow different perspective. yeah it's a tracking shot mm -hmm. it's all new animation <laughs> they do this whole recap and it's all new animation yeah i thought that was really cool how they show us a different perspective of it they didn't even have to no they could have replayed the same animation that they did in the last episode and it would have been shot fine everybody would have said anything everybody would have thought the same exact thing just like oh this is where they're picking it up with again oh okay but no 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 they're just like we're gonna remind you but also Here's a new angle. Yeah, and if anything, this one hit more because like you see Ghetto's entire reaction, uh -huh. you know, from the moment she gets shot all the way until she falls. Like, damn! And you can tell he was pissed. He was pissed. Yeah, yeah. That was scary. That was, uh, and that's the thing is like, yeah, okay. You know, the episode before it showed like that thing open up and the dragon come out and like he opened Wake Mundo. That. They didn't do that. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be cool actually. <laughs> And they didn't, they didn't do that in that, but like the way the dragon flew out, like, bro, there's, that's, that ain't CGI. Nah, that's all hand-drawn stuff and it looks fantastic. It's insane. Yeah. You but, can tell that they really like Jujutsu Kaisen. For real. I'm so like, or at least Mappa does, does, you know? Yeah, thank you, man. Bro, they're <laughs> doing it justice. And apparently even the author, like, you know, Gege Akatami, mm -hmm. the mangaka for it, mm -hmm. he like, he commented on the first three episodes. He's like, I love it. It, oh, they're great. doing yeah. it justice. The animation is insane. I love what they're doing. Like apparently, he's a really big fan of speed lines, mm. right? And the way they they animated Papa Fushiguro, Papa. Oh, Goro. the way he he, he referred to him around. as Papa Goro. <laughs> the way the way they animated him, he was like, I love that. But I love and that. I'm not it gonna shows his speed no. really well. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. No, but they they did justice for Toji specifically. Papa Goro versus. Gojo and uh, and uh, Ghetto. Uh, Ghetto was ridiculous. It was really fucking like, good. They. <laughs> it makes me wonder though, like, what the fuck is this grown ass man doing, just beating up a couple teenagers? <laughs> I mean, he he knows he's aware of who they are. Yeah, no, true. They definitely like are not <laughs> normal teenagers. But I think yeah. it's funny if you like in retrospect, you're just seeing it. It's this grown ass fucking adult squaring up against a couple teenagers. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Well, this man, this man on the verge of death, came back figured out how the reverse technique works mm -hmm. and then came back to him while high yeah. on the concept of holy fuck i almost died and i came back i'm a god yeah that's basically yeah, what it is high on that idea and he's like i'm gonna combine these two imaginary concepts delete that's fuck everything in that yeah. direction <laughs> yeah fuck everything in that direction yeah, yeah. delete uh-huh oh it was cool because i saw someone comment on that scene where it's like the purple uh and hitting papaguro it's cool because if you look at it like a couple times it almost looks like that uh orb or ball or whatever is like pushing and pulling him at the same time because oh, that yeah. is what the technique does it is. it's like you know everything the the infinity of like a the attraction of it yes. or repelling of, or whatever of red and blue exactly yeah. so it's kind of cool because it doesn't look like it's just blasting him away like a regular mm -hmm. blast it's just like the concept of reality is just going back and forth in his direction mm -hmm. and that's just, just fucking yeah. sending him off terrifying like little did that man know that like going and trying to kill gojo is exactly what he needed to like piece together the rest of shit like he sees like everything differently through his fucking mm -hmm. through the six, six eyes, eyes now. now yeah and you can tell like the way the way they emphasize his eyes like mm -hmm. you know, looking it kind of did change and he was like just floating there and he's aware of so much going on 
all at once mm -hmm. and he's like mid battle not even fully paying attention to what he's doing yeah yeah the yeah, sickness was... technique is insane it is he even quoted he made a quote he said oh, what is it by by the heavens i am uh, uh, I alone I, am the. I will the look it up. It's or major. The pinnacle, oh. something like that. Uh, Gojo quote. Uh, that shit was dope. It was a really fucking. Yeah, he, it was, he it was is a, that guy. He, fucking he quote. Did, he said it, and it was like, "I'm God." Got it. Uh, Gojo confidently declared, "I alone am honored throughout heaven and earth." Huh? Basically, I'm fucking. I'm a god. Bro. I feel like I'm, I'm him. I'm him. I'm him, Does guys. It matter? Now, uh, I did want to bring up that scene when he says that. There's been a little bit of a discussion in the community where a lot of people are thinking that they didn't do it justice in terms to the manga panel, mm -hmm. right? And I've seen the two compared, and I'll say, like, I, I do like the manga panel better. It, didn't, yeah. it wasn't bad, though, in the anime. They had the... They had the music that helped elevate that moment. They had, you know, that golden ore or whatever. So it was a different direction. Yeah. I don't think it was worse. I prefer the manga, though, but it clearly still did what it needed to do because Gary is anime only for that and he got it completely yep. just the same way every manga reader did so like I don't think it's that bad it's not a huge major change that took away from the manga it was just different mm -hmm. the biggest thing was that like when he says that the I alone am the honored one or whatever the manga panel showed him kind of at like this angle and like more grandiose kind of sort of like with a crazier over. look it kind of it was more like him just like looking up kind of like laughing like kind of like yes different angle right? yeah versus the anime it was a little more straight on but him looking up right so it was just like the the shot composition was different but the we also got the same. like many different shots of him floating that's true yeah we did like get a lot of that and like kind of sinisterly laughing yeah it, it like really came across like he's kind of crazy right now oh yeah yeah he's a little yeah, a little bit of a screw loose but he's not upset about that it's uh, this is the state he needs to be in mm -hmm. and he, he, yeah he realizes he's him he gave him perspective it's, yeah that is the scene and i'll put this up or we'll put this up in the video so y'all can see too to kind of compare but the scene like it's cool like it looks yeah, really that, fucking that, up that it's iconic cool, as fuck but you know that scene of him like dancing mm -hmm. kind of like mm -hmm. as a composer the, while while you have that spinning tracking shot yeah that, that was, was dope. really cool i really fucked with that yeah i think they both did it justice personally like you can pick whichever one that's fine but i don't think they ruined it some people are no. saying that mappa dropped the ball and that they ruined it no they didn't shut up it's okay is that, did anybody else get like a set a menacing feeling when he just like floated up on his side oh yeah bro and just was smiling the slow the moment that like and he like gave the eye to to, to uh papa girl yeah. Like, yeah, was it was just, just like, like oh this is scary like yeah. this kid has snapped mm -hmm. like something's awakened oh yeah. yeah and then when he starts talking about like okay so you know the only way to really learn techniques is if somebody like teaches you for them from like your your ancestors and like that's how a lot of like techniques get leaked but there's only like one there's only a few that are like rare amongst the gojo clan that only a handful know that is only because only a handful can have ever like uh had the uh technique of infinity mm -hmm. and the six eyes yeah it's like you if you get lucky enough to get both techniques it's, at the same time yeah Bro, he told me this the other day but fushi girl uh-huh having his ability is like as rare as that i realize yes. it yeah it's yeah crazy shit. yeah <laughs> and I, I i really fuck with the fact that like at the end of his life homeboy was like no i don't have any words actually my son's gonna be sold off in a couple of years to the Zenin clan. Mm -hmm. Do what you want with that. I, yeah, I love Drops that. Dead. Fucking awesome. That was his like last like fuck you to the Zenin clan. Uh -huh. Just like you know what I know. Let me tell this pinnacle. <laughs> like I'm sure he I'm sure he knew mm -hmm. that like uh, that um, Megami was gonna ha have the the technique. Mm -hmm. Like it makes sense. The child who was born with the six eyes and Limitless was born. Like somebody in the Zenin clan's probably gonna be like. And he, With he shot. himself wasn't born with any curse technique, any from the Zenin clan. So it's going to like that. Makes sense that like that it's skipping him mm -hmm. and his he next knew. child. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, no question about it. And That's instead of like letting the Zenin clan get their hands on that, it's just like 
I'm gonna put him in the hands of the most powerful man on the planet. Yeah, he just, you know he lives for a little bit of chaos. He, yeah. he, he doesn't care about the politics of it at yeah. all. It's why he's the deadbeat that he is, but you know, he's <laughs> on his last fucking breath. He's like, hey, by the way, do what you will with that. Yeah. I think that's really cool. It, it made him an interesting character. He was short-lived, obviously, because he only lasted a few episodes, but you're gonna remember his character for the rest of the show yeah he had impact yeah he had impact for sure if it wasn't for him we wouldn't have gotten the gojo that we have today like mm -hmm. it was because of him that we have this infinite you know fucking well he also clearly made a big impact on on uh gato gato yes because thank he, you for bringing that up. he calls people monkeys in jujutsu kaisen zero mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. that's how he referred to himself yeah you know it's like oh you you lost to a filthy monkey yeah so, I, and that's really important. I'm glad you noticed that because this is like a turning point. I, I that's why I'm interested, bro. I want to see like what's what's gonna happen because you can tell uh, Ghetto's struggling. Like, mm -hmm. he, he, like they are in that room, and Siguru's like, uh, or um, Gojo's, Gojo's like, we can yeah, kill we all can them. kill them all. We can kill them all right now. I won't feel bad at all. I don't, I don't feel anything. I don't feel right anything now. right now. Yeah. Mm. Will that make you feel better? We can kill him. And he's like, no, it's really important that we have reason. Why not? Why Why to, to not do that? Yeah. You know? But, and like, but he see, stuttered, though. He didn't immediately be like, no, no, Gojo, we shouldn't do that. He he thought about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, bro. He's like, like that, that shadow, low key, like, felt like isolating him, right? But also, like, kind of felt like he was thinking about opening up and summoning something out mm. to, to do it. He could have easily. Like, he could have. They very easily could have just killed them all and like don't you think like maybe they might have deserved it they're clapping all honoring like the death of this innocent girl mm -hmm. basically it's dark as hell and i totally understand ghetto's you know shift in ideology like he starts off wanting to protect everybody realizing that we have this strength as jujutsu sorcerers let's protect the weak but now when the weak are doing fucked up shit like this why should we protect them you know what i mean Think about it, like, from, like, their perspective. Their whole thing was to get her to Master Tengen. And, like, what Master Tengen does is he helps Loki keep the balance for Jujutsu Sorcerers. So you see just these fucking monkeys getting in the way. Like, per, like not understanding, like, I'm trying to do what I do to protect you guys. Yeah. Now you guys are doing shit that's fucking all that up. And you I, don't even know the reasons and, and why. Exactly. Now, like, I can see the shift and being just like, why would I go through all the trouble of trying to protect you guys when you guys are just going to get my way anyways? Mm -hmm. I can just get rid of you guys. And protect and, us, who and, are honestly more a danger. Like, Gojo almost died. Yeah, exactly. Trying to protect the weak. Mm -hmm. And to his eyes, Gojo is, like, you know, his equal or his, like, best friend, basically. Exactly, like, exactly is. Yeah, they're rivals, but... He's also like their best friends. They mm -hmm. they are growing up together. Essentially. I mean, the, the, the instant, the the moment, he said, "Oh, because I killed Gojo instantly." We were fighting. Hands yeah, are being thrown. <laughs> he threw no, out the, no hesitation. He threw out the rainbow dragon instantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, no hesitation. He's like, "All right, die." Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. And that, like that shows their best friends. Mm -hmm. So definitely, I'm glad that you picked up on it, and definitely keep paying attention to that as the next few episodes come out because the the flashback doesn't really have that much more. I think maybe like maybe one or two. I don't he know. He explains a little bit more about the uh, his technique. Yeah, and you'll essentially kind of get to the conclusion of how he got to where he is now, and we'll be ready to probably come back to the present time. I think, right? You'll uh, at least understand the character okay. better. Also, I don't know if you guys picked up on this, but the worm that uh, Toji was using. Gato's using in movie zero. Oh, that's I thought so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a lot of like different little Easter eggs. And and call, him mom, call him mommy. And I was like, oh God. Yeah. That was, ah, he was horrified at seeing that. Yeah. And I'm glad that they're going to do, they're supposed to be recapping a little bit of the movie, the movie zero between the end of the flashback and before Shibuya, mm. because there are some important things that happened in the movie that we didn't pick up on because we hadn't read uh, the flashback yet. So kind of keep them in the back of your head yeah okay but yeah uh another anime that we've also kind of been watching uh this season is the season two of mishako tensei or jobless reincarnation mm -hmm. it's been good it's been pretty damn good very very good um it's a piece of shit <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, he yeah. is trying. I know he's going through it. But uh, he's, yeah, he's become a piece of shit. Like he, he's acting like Paul. Now that he's done he's morning like, like a little Paul bitch. Was. <laughs> no, he's acting like Paul was when he met him, mm -hmm. being all depressed and uh, shit. Like he gave up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's true. I mean, again, depressed magician arc, apparently, right? I, I get, totally get it. Yeah. But he has showed a lot of progress, bro. When he's when he's like started naming his muscles and working out. And oh like, yeah, uh, that was kind of uh, cool uh, seeing uh, him like uh, actually yeah. start working out. Like man, he looks he, older. He, he low key, he's kind of kind of cut now. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. Built. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. The way he's designed for his age is what I wish like Trunks and Goten would look at their age. You know what I mean? Seriously. Like he actually looks like a teenager, or, like at least a preteen or whatever. You know just yeah. with muscles um but it's cool seeing him like deal with the trauma basically that happened to him at the end of season one you know like him having to go through this all by himself now he got betrayed by the people that you know were close to him and he's trying to fix that um i i watch this with sam every week and we kind of like talk about it every time we finish an episode we're always having discussions on like oh like do you see what this means or do you kind of see why he does this and it's cool because I have no context for the uh, light novel or the manga. I haven't read any of it, but I'm still able to kind of pick up on those themes as the show's progressing. So they're doing a good job of like making sure you're understanding the psychological aspect of what's been going on to Rudy these last few episodes. Yeah, homeboy can't get it up. He got erectile dysfunction. <laughs> she slaughtered his confidence. Yeah. Oh my god. Even even though Sarah that's why was I got him. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> what? Rudy has got. Uh, erectile dysfunction. I mean, it's true. He does. He did. <laughs> he couldn't get it up. Like, like she was, she was naked, and he's like, "It's not her fault. Like she's, she pretty bad." Mm -hmm. I, just, I just, I can't get I, there. It's me. It's my fault. I can't get it up. There's something wrong. Yeah. And that's that's what Eris did to him. Damn. Yeah. She broke his. She broke his. Uh, his ability to. You know? <laughs> Sorry. It had to be done. <laughs> It sucks. He got his that's the whip. thing is like yeah. he's gonna have to he's gonna have to overcome that mental mm -hmm. block and you know you see that scene where he burns her hair. Mm -hmm. I loved that. That was a great scene. Panties. Yeah. I wish you would get rid on. of the fucking panties. Uh, <laughs> I think everyone does. Like Man. really grow up, bro. Move past your childish like that was like from your yeah, yeah. real childish like things. I mean, I mean, but like her race, Roxy's race, lives a long time, bro. Fuck it. Why not marry her? Yo, that's she might be what 50 but sure. she she's still bad do you kind of ship roxy with rudius fuck yeah i love roxy bro <laughs> fuck, do you I do love too roxy, no. bro. oh who do you ship him with that's none of your business bane i don't care i think I, I know who he ends up with at the end though who do you ship him with I ship him with Eris personally still really yeah i think that they like as much as you want to hate Eris. end up with her no, oh, oh. shut up. Um, as much as like you want to hate Eris for what she did to Rudius, like you understand her point of view. Oh, absolutely. Right? She yeah, just she went about it the wrong it. way. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. She did not do it properly at all. But you know, she essentially broke she up did need to. Text. Yes, yeah. She needed to do what she did. Um, poor Rudius, though he <laughs> did not deserve that. But no. yeah, it is what it is. I I see them both kind of growing and you know having their own experiences separately. And then I think I could see them reuniting older, you know, and then um, hopefully hashing it out. It, it seems like the common theme in this season is just lack of communication. <laughs> <laughs> like, he did not have to go through all that if he would have just kind of, like, opened up a little bit and talked about it. And, like, if y'all saw the most recent episode, I forgot the guy, but the, the older guy that was kind of bullying him at the beginning... Yeah. That ends yeah. up helping him out. Yeah. He's cool. Like he's cool as fuck. Yeah. And, and he, like, once he, like, figures out... Or, or said like oh you know now i know why exactly. like now i know why you act the way you act mm -hmm. and then it is what it is you know i'll accept that part of you mm -hmm. i don't hate you anymore because i understand it's coming from a good place yes and you have yeah. your reason yeah exactly he saw right through him he saw mm -hmm. through the yeah. fake smile and the niceness and politeness like no bro like just be straight up and that's why he was annoyed with him and that's why he kept bugging him because like he knew that he was being fake the second that rudy's finally broke down and like let his frustrations out he got it he's like i get it now. all right cool like, yeah no. maybe maybe you have gone through a lot of shit that justifies you acting this way maybe i don't know but you weren't being honest before you're being honest with yourself now so and i like that he has an older figure kind of to like 
help him out because he does need help nobody should go through that world alone you know like you need friends and people to help you when you when you're down and he's always had some kind of like a little bit of guidance yeah some kind of support system that that like that party that he was with they were cool Mm -hmm. crimson arrow they were cool Mm -hmm. but like they 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 really still kind of treated him as like all right it's a matter of convenience Mm -hmm. right like like they're a little bit less real I feel like then then um, the dude at the end who was helping him mm, was okay. to begin with fair, right? Yeah. Like they let him join to teach Sarah a lesson at the start. That's true. About yeah, but I think that they do like still like Rudius. You know, I think that it, he's growing on them. Maybe initially it was like that, you know, a convenience thing. But I think they do have some kind of like okay, well, like we do kind of care about you. Like you saved one of ours. You didn't even have to do that. Like. He's saved their asses a couple times, so I, I think it's more than that now. But at the beginning, it probably was more out of convenience. Mm-hmm. But the guy who's helping him now, mm-hmm. he never had to deal with any of that. He's never had any of that. No, he was realer from the get. Yeah, he was real from the get. Yeah, for he sure. He treated. He tre- He wanted like the truth out outright. Right. I, I feel like him being with a character like that. And like a crew like that will help his development. I think so. Oh right. yeah, yeah. With 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 Sarah, like he, after she was like, "Oh, go die! I never want to see you again." Like he actually went to kill him. Yeah, that was fast. That scene. And like, he blocked it so uh-huh. quick. I I rewatched it like three times. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, he didn't like hesitate. He just immediately went for it. I thought it was gonna be like a. I saw the screen cap of it before the episode came out because mm-hmm. like someone posted it, and I thought it was gonna be like a slow like. Oh, maybe I want to do this. Maybe I don't. Like, no, he just fucking went for it. He was done. It was so fast that I was like, "Holy shit, that's hard." He was committing. Yeah, he was committing. Like, he was really willing to end his life there. Mm -hmm. And homie blocked it and said, "Nah, bro, go after her. What are you doing?" He's like, "I don't want to anymore." He's like, "All right, well then, come with us." Yep. Yeah. I cannot wait for this next episode because the pacing is so good. Like, Mm -hmm. there's we're covering months and months of time. Yes. Every episode. Yeah. That's so like that's Lord one of the, of the things I love about this show. It's, it's always been really Game good about of that. Thrones, dog. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm excited. And Sam says that this episode's supposed to be really good because at the end of the last one, we saw that uh that elf chick that was with Roxy before in season one, whenever they were looking for them. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. the, the, the horny elf chick. Yeah, the horny <laughs> yeah. elf chick. At yeah. the end, I was like, son of a bitch. It's like I, I like, remember Roxy. you. Roxy's still looking for him, mm-hmm. and she's about to find him. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. So. Well, hopefully, I hope to God. Quagmire is leaving. <laughs> He's he's leaving right when she found out. Yeah, so, so it might clearly, be another like. Yeah, it might like Damn it. they might encounter finished. somebody and it's like, oh, that fucking jackass left town. Maybe she'll town. meet with the the rest of the group, the other ones like Sarah and uh, the other one. Like Hopefully. meets Roxy, it's like, oh. Hmm. Hey, yeah, like well, we had a page that kind of fits that description. description. Yeah. Well, he did talk about her. I was gonna say he At usually table, references like his he, he said he, yeah, yeah he referenced his Tyler. master. Did he ever reference by name? Yeah, yeah. Oh, At I'm the table, sure. and he like apparent he was like yeah. Sometimes I avoid subjects because you know uh, Sarah gets upset. Like she'll get jealous, <laughs> and they show show her to her at the table getting jealous. She's like, on another note. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I can I'm use sorry. a sword. I need to get one. Ask them on a date. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that now. Well, yeah, no, I'm excited. Uh, I'm honestly gonna watch that episode probably tomorrow. We'll see. Watch that shit tonight. But shit been good. Uh, and then speaking of good animes that I have Anime not watched. Recommendation. Da, 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 da. Have you ever been feeling like you're in a slog? That. Eh, like I know, I know we've all been there, right? That those moments where it's like, fuck, man, I'm just waking up. I'm going to work. I'm not really doing anything I enjoy. I don't have my own time. I'm burnt out and like. You know, I can't do anything. I'm I'm stuck working for this place because I have to pay my bills and like I don't have time to look for work elsewhere because mm-hmm. I need. I'm always at work, All right? And so imagine living like that for multiple years, and then suddenly the zombie apocalypse happens. <laughs> Cherry on top. You don't have to go to work anymore. Oh, bet this character, bro. He he's he just wants to be free. He's like Luffy. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's this scene where he's like, I'm free because he finally realizes <laughs> he doesn't like, have to go to work anymore. The world, the world ended. Is fucked. I don't need to keep going to work. I'm free. 
It uh-huh. started off with him just thinking like, oh, I don't have to go to work today to being like, oh, I don't have a job anymore. This is a bad. <laughs> like nobody has a job anymore. Fucking yeah, apocalypse. World, is and, and he's just living his best life. Right. It's called Zom 100 because he's doing the 100 things he wants to do before he dies. It's a bucket list. It's a bucket list, bucket list before he becomes a, yes. bef- before he becomes a zombie. Oh, yes. I didn't know that. Oh, that's kind of cool. so good, bro. Yeah. Like his character just breathes so much life uh-huh. into the series and like he encounters other people and they're like yo maybe i should try to enjoy my life just a little bit like everybody takes everything so serious because this is a zombie yeah, apocalypse, understandably right but this man's like rolling through on a on a on a chopper like <laughs> like hey guys what's up what is doing? this more like leaning you know, comedy the movies it, yeah it's it's like it's funny mm-hmm. it's, it's very funny but there's like a little bit of adventure there's a little drama with like other characters it's it's fun oh, okay it's just, it's just a fun time and the Still animation zombie apocalypse. beautiful because hmm. it's mappa yeah that's also mappa are you serious and it's it's on netflix it's on hulu it's on crunchy Crunchyroll. Roll. it's oh, fucking shit. everywhere so no excuse dude no excuse so good it's so much fun. Is this a new anime or is this like a season it's, two? It's, to... There's the fourth episode. It's yeah. going to drop some point. It's dropping out weekly. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Because yeah. I've been hearing about Zom 100, but I haven't checked it out. And I didn't know if it was like, oh, it's this is their season two and it's been out for a little bit. Or if this is like their oh, first season. It's the first season. Cool. You it's, really got Yeah, watch dude, it. it's so much fun. Okay. I, I just like, I genuinely am looking forward to each episode every week okay i hadn't like i didn't know that you guys were watching that so we we try to watch it together but like when it comes out sometimes i can't help myself i just watch it he's like you hate me <laughs> like i don't it's just good it's so good nothing sacred anymore nothing sacred hey, one piece, one piece. We, one piece. One we always piece. have one piece yeah. hey gary we'll always have one piece yes Mm-hmm. Until it's over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> PSA: Don't forget to watch Bleach and uh, Alchemist Out. Hey, no, <laughs> fuck, you, fuck you. No, PSA: Legit. Okay. Um, yeah, please keep watching Bleach. The second core is out. I've been keeping up with it week to week, and I feel like it hasn't gotten the spotlight lately because One Piece, you know, are, understandably has been. Oh, dominating. shocker! Like we didn't think that was gonna happen. We yeah, called yeah, that bro, a long time ago. Real. It's because it's on Hulu. It's also it's because it's on Hulu, Hulu mm-hmm. sure, but I think there's just a lot of like shit coming out right now. Like Jobless Reincarnation finally got their season two, and it's kind of, it's competing with One Piece, with Jobless, with Orimiya has also been coming out every mm-hmm. weekend. I'm a couple Jujutsu episodes Kaisen. behind, but it's been funny. Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen, Kaisen, you know, and Zom 100. So there's a lot coming out that, you know, there's a lot to watch. But check if you're not watching this because you haven't heard anyone talk about it you're hearing someone talk about it now go watch it it's really fucking good the animation is still as good as it was in the first core we're getting a lot more fights and we're getting more screen time with the captains and the quincy's and stuff that you probably wanted to see in the first core but like now you're getting more detail into it this past episode fucking great it was so good we got to dive into a specific captain that i didn't think we would and he's a fucking chad i love him god damn it yeah so y'all also definitely need to catch up like well at least you know what happens but like it's good okay definitely. okay yeah no I, you know i love seeing the animation bro i i love the level that they that they did with that other season i just want to so see how much they're gonna the show movie off. level quality it's insane yeah it really is man so i'm excited to see where it goes but yeah just a quick little psa so Go watch it so we get more. Bet. All right. I think we need to wrap everything up, thing up here. Mm-hmm. So we might as well go watch it right now. Yeah. While you guys go watch the podcast on YouTube, Anime Alchemist Podcast. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn those notifications on, and Alchemist out. Alchemist, Alchemist out. out.